Okay guys, so um, I'm now going to attempt to cut the holes in um, our denim jackets with um, a Stanley blade. Yeah, this sounds a bit dangerous, right? But anyway, it's going to be fine. I've um, found my husband's toolbox. He will probably kill me for even entering this. Look, it's really cool. It even says Stanley on it. It's probably like um, totally not allowed for me to actually open this thing. I have no idea how to open it. Ooh, lots of tools. We have lots of tools, you see? Ha 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 ha, but he's at work and he has no idea that I am going into his toolbox. Ha ha. Would anyone trust me with this thing? No. <laughs> lol so anyway um i don't know what i'm supposed to cut this on that's the problem what am i supposed to cut this on he's gonna kill me like when i do things like this he's like what are you doing you're not supposed to cut it on that don't chop on the sideboard you'll make marks you know so it's like i don't know what i'm supposed to do anyway i have a biscuit tin maybe i can just use that that'll be safe i won't I won't make any trouble or any marks. <laughs> anyway, I don't know where I'm going to put this phone so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Anyway, here's me. I have a biscuit tin. Here's the jacket and here's the Stanley blade. What on earth could go wrong? <laughs> oh my God, don't worry. It's only the take that jacket for the tour. Nothing important. Lol much more important than anything else right so i'm cutting oh my god mom i'm cutting your jacket she said that pops was gonna do this pops is um my mum's husband my stepdad i probably should have left it to him but now she's given me the jackets and i'm in charge of decorating you see so i thought i might as well attempt to make these holes for the buttons. Why the hell these jackets come with no holes for buttons? Nobody knows. Look, I'm actually like starting to make progress. Can you see? Look. See? Nobody trusts me with a Stanley blade, she says live on YouTube. Hopefully I won't cut my finger off. Okay, I don't know how good this is. I suppose you've got to do it to a point where you can actually get the button through. Let's see. God, oh my god, oh my god! Yes, mum! I did it! <laughs> See? I can be trusted with a Stanley blade. I can, I can, I can. So now, basically, I've just got to go around the rest of the jacket, do the other sleeves. I don't think I'm going to bother doing every single one. I don't think we actually really need to do it up because we're going to have, like, take that T-shirt on underneath. I'm not quite sure which one. My mum made me this for Christmas, by the way. Look how cool it is. It's me when I um, got a selfie with Mark and it says number one data. Best Christmas present ever. Thank you, mum. Anyway, I don't think you want to watch me um, do this whole thing. I don't know, I could record it, you never know, it might all go wrong and then I'll get like a million hits on YouTube for chopping my finger off. <laughs> Lol, that would not be funny. Anyway, um, I will let you know how it goes and um, yeah, here's to the Take That 30 Tour outfits. Yeah! So, I finished one jacket. Look, buttons are done up here. Look at that. This one can also be done up. I didn't do the buttons on the front because, I don't know, I, that might go wrong. And as I said, I don't think we need to really do up the jacket. So one is safely done. My fingers are all still in place. Look, 10 fingers. So this is going um, very well. That was actually my jacket. Um, that I did first, I think. Although I think they're the same size, so it shouldn't matter. Now on to mum's. Let's see. Um, see if I can do this and get a round of applause at the end and come out safe with all my fingers. No holes in the carpet. 
Doesn't matter really about this chocolate biscuit box, you know, if I wreck it. My husband is literally going to kill me. When he sees this video on YouTube, he'll be like, what are you doing? Why are you using my tools? And why are you cutting on a surface like a biscuit box? Like, what if you slip and then you rip the carpet or... You know, I don't know what you're supposed to use for this kind of thing. Like, you're supposed to have a workbench or something. Anyway, I don't know. I'm female. I'm from Essex. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm sure you guys are definitely going to agree. So give me a few more minutes. And hopefully both jackets will be done. Oh my god, this one is taking so long. And you have to be so careful, like not to cut too hard because like you get a bit impatient and then you just want to really cut it and you have to be careful because I slipped on the other one. Oh, see it's still not quite going through. Just have a little patience. You know you can always be inspired by take that at any time. Alright let's see. Let's see. Oh my god. This is really difficult. I think I'm just going to be able to get this bottom through the hole. Whew. Done. That was just the first one. Oh my god. This is hard work. This is like a man's job, really. Anyway, I'm sure I can be inspired by a few more Take That songs. Anyway, I need to stop thinking about take that and I need to concentrate because, you know, somebody put that video in the group this morning, you know, this from the um, tour back in Wembley when I was like nine years old, the Apache or whatever it's called. And, um, oh God, I haven't seen that for so many years. Such a cool video. And then somebody else decided to put on give good feeling. Oh, my God. Who puts that on at like nine o'clock in the morning? That was intense. You know, they're all like sweating and grinding on the stage. Oh my God, I remember going to that concert at Highlands Park with my mum and I was so embarrassed when they started grinding on the stage. That was like so embarrassing. Anyway, I really need to concentrate. I really don't think it's helpful thinking about Mark rubbing himself down with a sweaty towel and I'm trying to cut with a Stanley blade. That could go really wrong. All right, guys, nearly there. Yes! Bingo! Number two done. Now, I've just got to do the pockets. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to sleep after this. Gonna need to sleep, I'm telling you. We're nearly there though. Just have a little patience. This tour is gonna be so amazing. I can't wait to see the outfits that everyone's wearing. I think like the fans are really gonna go for it this time from what I see in the groups on Facebook. Like people are planning their outfits already and have been since we bought the tickets. people that have already got their outfits there's people that have already got their t-shirts done they're already designed you know they've already had them made there's like earrings that have been made like some of these guys in the group are really awesome like this lady's made tt30 earrings i so want a pair and there's a charm as well you can get a charm and i actually have one of those charm bracelets Oh, it would look so good. I think me and my mum are going to get like those take that 30 earrings and a charm. You've just got to go all out. You know, the boys, they have just done so much. We don't know how long they're going to carry on for. So, you know, we've got to give everything this year. We have got to go all out. Outfits, banners, jewellery, accessories, you name it going to be done oh yes i better put this blade away because if i get excited around a blade that could end in tears the biscuit tin is safe the carpet is safe the jackets are done oh yeah i think i might have to try this on 
just to see how it looks. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, give good feeling to me. Baby, I know this feeling won't go. I'm recreating Mark from this morning. These jackets are amazing. How good is it gonna look with a take that t-shirt underneath? Yes, mum, we are doing it. Take that 30 tour. Give good feeling. I think by the way, guys, now that I've finished cutting the jackets and I thought, why don't I just open those biscuits? <laughs> After cutting on them, why don't I just open the biscuits and dunk them? into this nice cup of tea that I made. Fully deserved after making those jackets. Don't you reckon? Oh, yum. You know, all this take that stuff, such hard work. You got to end it with a biscuit.